Well, congratulations, Jared. You're the Skybet Championship Player of the Month for November. How delighted are you to win this award? Very, very delighted. Um, you know, personal accolades are you know, kind of really good because it kind of shows what you've been doing. Um, and, you know, it's obviously a massive honour to win, to win such an award. Give us a summary of the month. How have you found it personally? Personally, it's been well. I've been scoring goals, um, getting a couple of assists. Um, with the team, I think, you know, we've been a bit inconsistent, a bit hit and miss sometimes. But, you know, we're not even halfway through the season yet. We need to, need to cut that out um, and just keep performing the way we are most weeks um, and, you know, turn those draws and losses that, you know, where we should be winning uh, into wins and, you know, we'll kick right on. Despite a little bit of inconsistency from the team in general, your form's been pretty consistent. Four goals, two assists this month. And what's been the key to that? I don't think there's a, anything's changed. Um, I've still just been applying myself the same off the pitch and on the pitch. Um, it's just, you know, maybe chances are coming my way and got more confidence on the pitch as the games go on. Um, but, you know, there's no, there's no hidden key to it. It's just kind of do the same things I do every week. Nearly midway through the season now. How do you feel it's been as a team? Like I said before, a bit inconsistent, you know, we've dropped a lot of points where we've been, you know, in winning positions, which is disappointing. But, you know, like I said, not even halfway through the season yet. We've still got a sniff of the playoffs. Um, we've got a busy period coming up, get as many wins as we can. And, you know, come New Year, um, and if we're still in and amongst it, then you know, we've got another back end of the season to push right on and achieve everyone's dreams. We are approaching that halfway mark. And how do you feel you've developed so far? Yeah, I think just playing week in, week out for the last two and a half seasons has developed me no end. Um, you know, you see a lot of it, your youngsters not playing and I wasn't playing for a while and then started playing a couple of years ago. Um, but, you know, I've cemented my place in the team and it's been good to get minutes every week and, you know, playing week in, week out. Um, so, like I said, it's just developing me, you know, every week and every year. There's been plenty of positives as you touched on, but is, is there anything to your game you want to improve? Yeah, I think there's always um, ways to improve. I think you look at the improvements more than you know the positives. Um, I think at the start of the season it was kind of improving my right foot, so I've been working on that for the last year and a half. You know, just using both feet, um, so I'm not predictable predictable to play against, especially playing off the right. So I've done work with Tony, like I've said before, and you know I've scored a few of my right foot this year. So I guess you know that's paying off, and it's. It's different things that you pick on each after each game. You watch the games back and see what you need to do better, and then you know pull it on the put practice in the training pitch, and hopefully it comes good on a on a weekend. You've reached 50 Hull City goals now. How proud of a moment was that for you at the Preston North End game? Yeah, no, it's it's proud. Um, like I said before, I'm just achieving my dreams of playing week in week out, and to get to such a you know a milestone at you know even 23 yet is. You know, sometimes I've got to take a step back and like say well done to myself because you know it's a it's a great achievement and hopefully I can score many more. How has Grant McCann helped you since his arrival? Obviously, he's been here just over just short of half half a year now. How has he helped you? Yeah, he's helped me no end. Um, like I said, he's plays me higher at the pitch, so you know I've got more freedom. He wants he doesn't not bother if I you know lose the ball. Uh, he wants me to beat players. He wants me to excite people because he knows. He knows that I can do that, so I think the goals that I've scored have, you know, showed the trust he's put into me, and I'm just kind of repaying it. And it's great to work with you, not uh, on the training pitches as well. We're doing a lot of finishing drills and always chatting about about the game. So you know, it's going well. Even further back, going going ten years back, where where would you have seen yourself? <sighs> I don't know how old I've been. Twelve. I don't know. I was probably playing football or being a uh, playing someone up uh, down the local park, but I don't know. I think. Back then, it was just kind of you were just playing, playing for fun. Football was, you know, played with. There was no, no pressure on you, no expectations. Um, so I guess until you actually live in the environment and live the footballer's life, so to speak, you realise, you know, the sacrifices being made. You know, everything that comes with it. Um, you know, I'm still young. I'm still enjoying my football, um, and I think that's the main thing. Uh, back turning attention back to this season, we're coming into the busiest part of the year now. How how are you feeling about this festive period? Yeah, I'm excited. There's a lot of games. Like I said, everyone loves playing games. Um, it's not good on the body sometimes when you're playing, you know, three three games a week. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's exciting. There's a lot of games, a lot of points to be you know picked up along the way. So, like I said, hopefully we can pick up as many points as we can come the come the new year. Are you feeling confident ahead of it? Obviously, there's plenty of confidence to take from results in the past. So, is it something you're looking forward to? Yeah, we're all confident. We know the, the quality we've got. Um, 
like I said, there's a lot of games, games that, you know, we want to be winning, we should be winning. Um, you can take performances against teams higher than us where we've applied ourselves well and, you know, took the game right to them um, and just take that into every game and, you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll win most of the games. A frustrating start to the month, but now we turn our attention to Charlton and, and what are your thoughts ahead of that trip? Yeah, it was frustrating the other night, um, you know, two, two goals that were, you know, unfortunate and we had chances ourselves. So, you know, sometimes it, you know, it doesn't happen. Uh, the first goal is an own goal and then, you know, the second goal, the keeper makes a worldy save and it doesn't drop at anyone's feet and then they go at the other end and score. So sometimes the luck in the game just wasn't there and I think that was the, that was the moment of when the keeper made that save. Um, then we go to Charlton who, you know, started the season, started the season well and now they've, you know, got a lot of injuries so we can try and, you know, get on top of that and go there and pick up three points. Um, then we obviously play Birmingham at home, which, you know, home form we want to keep strong. And then obviously Forest, another home game where we want to keep strong. And then it'll be kind of a couple of games over the new year. Um, two tough games, QPR and Sheffield Wednesday, but they're all games that you, you, you can't predict what the who's going to win. It's, you know, it's just on the day and we're going to go and try and go there, stick to our game plan and win, like I said, as many as we can. I think the important thing in that is consistency as well, and that'll help us put some wins together as we look to kick on in the new year. Yeah, I think so. I think you look at last year, I think, was it seven on the bounce or something over December um, that we won? Um, and we were right down down below. So if, you know, where we are now, if we can go on another another run like that, we'll be, you know, we'll be cemented right into the into the top six, which where where we want to be. And just finally from us, uh, what are your goals going into 2020? Obviously, another big year for you. Yeah, another big year. Um, just to score more goals, get more assists, pick more points up for the team, um, just keep winning games and playing with a smile on my face. I think that's, that's the key thing, really.